Please let me introduce to you Mancilio, who is a poet, writer, and she also helped that extraordinary procession down from Union Square this morning. Please give her her hand. Thank you. This is the day we say all names correctly. Starting with mine, Lanzilotto. Lanzilotto. There were many heroes 100 years ago on this spot. I'm going to tell you about one of them. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. The kind of man you want to know. Selfless acts of courage were his destiny. Elevate a man at the Triangle Factory. I'm going to ask you to sing it with me. Ready? After me. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. The kind of man you want to know. The kind of man you want to know. Selfless acts of courage were his destiny. Selfless acts of courage were his destiny. Elevate a man. Triangle Factory. First of September, 1883, 15 minutes past 10, Giuseppe Alessandro Zito, sweet green eyes, he'd grow to be the strongest of men. At 18, he left Serra, Provincia di Salerno, Italy, came to La America, got a job at the Triangle Factory. Joe ran one of two passenger elevator cars. The other was run by a man named Gaspare Mortilalo. But factory workers were treated as freight. Backdoor elevators took their 500 bodies up to floors nine and eight. Joe and Gaspare brought to the executive floor bosses four ladies and buyers, and in twin bowler hats, the shirtwaist kings, union busters, door lockers, and liars. Then one payday in March, a Saturday night, 15 minutes to quitting time. All hell broke loose when Joe heard fire! Glass smashing, fists bashing way up high. Joe glanced over at Gaspare, and they locked eyes. And without a single word, they pulled their elevator cars up into the fast, fast fire, up high in the sky. Up, up, up to save lives. All the workers were screaming, distraught. Joe Zito never gave his own safety one single thought. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. The kind of man you want to know. The kind of man you want to know. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. Elevate a man, Triangle Factory. into Joe's elevator car, clutching fabric, shears, and scissors. Another guy would have minded his own business. But Italian-American to the core, Joe Zito never ran for the door. Up, 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 Joe, Joe, Joe. Into fire, higher and higher he climbed. He went back up about 18 times. Why didn't he go up in 19th, you say? Metzamort at the bottom of the shaft, our Joe lay. Elevator dropped, smashed at basement level. Cables gave into fire, an overloading hellhole. Jumping on Joe's car, girls after girls after girls after girls, caving the roof. 
flesh on fire, hair in ribbons and curls. They drag Joe out onto Washington Place, where you sit, half dead, and rush them to St. Vincent's Hospital. Stab wounds on his arms and forehead. And whatever happened to Gaspar? He was last seen running down the street in the smoke-filled Laria. Let me tell you about Josito. The kind of man you wanna know. The kind of man you wanna know. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. Elevator man, triangle factory. Elevator man, triangle factory. Povero Giuseppe Alessandro never recovered since he saw burning rockets from the eighth floor fall. He couldn't forget girls trapped in flames or Judge Crane and his gavel saying, shirtwaist kings are not to blame. Joe left New York City in a state of deprivation, shell-shocked from triangle workers, asphyxiation and decapitations. Scarred for life from all he saw, Joe headed west and seven years later, registered for the army during the Great War. No rich man could buy Joe's word. His green, sad eyes had saw and heard. All the papers said Joe died without a penny, and no bribe could change Joe's testimony. Ah, the shirtwaist kings were offering $1,000 bribes while the U.S. economy was taking the great dive. But Joe kept free to tell the truth, and the shirtwaist kings got rich off insurance loot. And like too many of our brave, our noble Joe Zito was buried in an unmarked grave. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. Let me tell you about Joe Zito. Italian-American hero. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. Selfless acts of courage, his destiny. He saved a hundred, a hundred fifty. He saved a hundred, a hundred fifty. Elevator man, we sing your name. Thanks, Joe. 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 And we vow not to be bystanders. Bystanders no more. Like Joe, we got to do something. Blessed. Blessed. Shatter. Big blast.